What we have out here is the Santa Barbara Channel, and it's this 50-mile expanse of um, water. Here we have a great diversity of marine animals and, and uh, marine flora. Um, and uh, one thing that we are looking at right now are the leopard sharks that are here off of Colo Point. Colo Point is a reserve. It's an established reserve that's run by the University of California, Santa Barbara. It's really a hidden gem for the people that live in this area and the visitors that we have here. The coastline off of Coyola Point Reserve is really special um, because there's so much marine life and we have a group of leopard sharks that are here actually year round. So um, about a year ago, Sammy came to our lab. While she was here, she told us about, hey, did you hear about these leopard sharks that are um, just right off of Colo Point? And we trotted out there and um, just walked out to knee high water and there were the sharks. When I tell people I work with sharks, they're usually right away, oh my gosh, like shocked. Um, but these guys are different. They're not anything like a great white. Um, they're, they're kind of thought of as being gentle and not interested in taking a bite out of you. It's really important to be able to understand the species, um, their whole lifetime and how they use the environment. So we are wondering, what are they doing out there? How many of them are there out there? Um, when are they out there? Are they there all year? The goal is to do one to three aerial surveys a week with the drone. We're taking a temperature reading of the water as well as the average tide line. We are doing a long transect alongside the shore. We're actually able to view the video live stream so we're able to see kind of where the middle of the aggregation is and then from there we'll do a cross transect to see kind of how far the sharks are actually out um, in the ocean but so far what we found they're primarily very close within the shore. Within these videos um, we are able to analyze the presence of where the sharks are along the coastline by Devro, and we're able to get a size reference. We're able to compare them to other days and how their, their movement and their aggregation patterns are different. The numbers, the presence, the actual location of each shark we're able to um, get through different apps that we have correlated within the drone. It'd be really difficult and it would be almost not even feasible to to run these aggregation uh, studies and these transects and so just the the drone world opens opens that up it's it's interesting that this aggregation specifically is here year round most of the leopard shark aggregations along the california coast kind of show up in a spot that is known for just one season so it's kind of a big deal that um, we actually found out that these guys are here year round. So there's something special about this group. There's something special about this ecosystem that they're able to support one another, that the niches of the leopard sharks are fitting in with the ecosystem of Coilo Point Reserve. Um, leopard sharks, they share our urban beaches. And um, so where people are, where they're playing, where they're working, um, in the water and along the shoreline. Um, this is where we find these sharks. And so the question is, um, you know, why is it important to learn about leopard sharks and their habits and their behaviors? It's important to gather as much information as we can on a larger scale because um, Previously, there was no reported information about these leopard sharks, and that's why I kind of jumped right into it, because adding any information adds value to understanding the, how the whole ecosystem works. And to understand that, then we're able to protect and conserve and truly understand 
other species as well, how they use the ecosystem. So in a grander scale of things, if we understand the behavior and the lifelong structure of this aggregation, it will be an indicator if the reserve is healthy or not.